Hey everyone, I hope you are well. My name is Jake and welcome back to my YouTube channel where I talk about my favorite passion, coin collecting. Today we're going to talk about my 5 tips for growing your collection. So sit back, relax, and let's get into the video. So my first tip for anyone that wants to collect coins is to first be patient. Now I know what it's like to want a coin so bad that you can't get it out of your head, but I urge you to just be patient. Uh, you got to set guidelines for how much you want to spend on a particular coin, as well as the condition you're looking for. Make them strict. Now, obviously, you need to set a reasonable price, uh, depending on how nice of a coin you're looking for. But once you have these two things set, just sit and wait. The right coin will, will show up eventually, and it will be worth it in the end, if you're just patient. Tip number two is to save for the coin that you want. Once you've figured out what you are willing to pay for the coin you want, you have to continue to build up your nest egg for the coin. If you are not able to find the right coin at the right price, then keep saving and eventually you might find a better coin than you expected initially. Now, currently I am stocking up on eBay gift cards for my next purchase, which I'm trying to get a four, 440 to 404 BC Athenian Tetradrom. Since I don't have the funds for the coin out of pocket, because I'm still a college student and I can't justify uh, spending that money on the coin yet, I won't feel bad spending eBay gift cards. Now these cards will force me to allocate my funds to the coin collection, which helps me stay on track to reach my goal. Now I asked for eBay gift cards for my birthday and Christmas to help speed up uh, obtaining my goal. Now I realize this isn't uh, plausible for everyone, but it's just something to think about going forward. My third tip for collecting coins is to be disciplined. This, this ties in very well with the, the previous two. This is extremely important. Stick to your plan. I know how tempting it can be to build up a good nest egg for a coin and then find a different one that's equally awesome uh, that you might want to get right now, but I would not recommend purchasing that coin on impulse. Although you may want that specific coin in the future, you've got your goal set and you need to stick to it. If you splurge on something that you don't, that you aren't planning for right now, you will set back your timeline for obtaining what you truly want. Tip number four is something that I've started to think about more seriously recently, and that is quality over quantity. Now, I understand the desire to try and collect anything and everything when it comes to coins. I know a lot of collectors try to do that as well, uh, but and this hobby is extremely fun, uh, but it can also be used for long-term investing in my opinion. These little pieces of metal we have uh, they have something called numismatic value, which is the value someone is willing to pay for the coin over face value. Now the numismatic value of our collection works just like any other investment, and it will go steadily up over time. This means that the longer we hold on to our coins, the more valuable they will be whenever we are ready to part with them, if we are ready to part with them. Now I would love to make a video on this in the future if you guys would like to watch it, uh, please let me know. And I think, because I think holding coins over a long period of time is an ex extremely great way to hold value and I mean I personally enjoy it immensely so it it's a win-win for me. Now this means that it is even more important to choose quality over quantity when choosing your coins. Uh, now we want coins that are in better condition so they will A be easier to sell if and when we need the money and B they will bring a higher price tag uh, because of the better condition or quality and they're just nicer to look at. So quality over quantity is what I will preach. Tip number five is by far the most important, and that is to collect what you want to collect and have fun with it. Uh, it's no fun to, co to collect anything if you're not collecting something that you are passionate about. For me, I'm a type collector, which means I like to have one coin of everything, which goes back to our last tip, which can get dangerous. So. For my US coinage, I have a Dance Code 7070 album, and it's one coin of, a, it's one penny, one nickel, one dime of every denomination, of every type. So I will, I'll have one Buffalo nickel, for example, one Jefferson nickel, and so on. And also for me, I'm, I'm more interested in medieval English and ancient Greek Roman coinage rather than US. To me, these types of coins are more exciting, so it keeps me interested, it keeps me fresh, and uh, I just don't get bored. But that's personal to me. Uh, don't let others tell you what to collect. If you like to collect US nickels from 1936 to 1945 and nothing else, uh, and you want to have every single nickel in between that time frame, then that is exactly what you should do. 
another example is if you like to collect novelties, like that's great. Or if you prefer foreign notes, that's perfectly fine too. Make sure you collect what makes you happy and gives you value in life. That wraps up our video for today. I hope you enjoyed my five tips for collecting coins. If you have any tips yourself, please leave them in the comments section below. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one. Keep on collecting.